never had a problem with them. They've always been nice to me. We got to talk about what kind of friend you are, what kind of friends you are surrounding yourself with. You could be best friends with someone and they could just be behind your back doing the most scandalous because a lot of people are afraid to rock the boat and don't like confrontation and that's okay. People that you love do not stand up for you and continue having a relationship with those that have hurt you. That to me is such a betrayal. It's just not for me. I get more upset about a situation that involves my friend than my friend does. An intense friend. I cannot be friends with someone who is actively in a friendship. Someone who despises me, who speaks badly about me. I mean, I can be acquaintances, but you're going to be here. We're not going to have any deep level relationship. It's going to stay in the shallow end. A friend says to you, well, they've always been nice to me. It's time to rethink that friendship. I don't think that a friend like that would stand up for your name in front of a group of people. The type of friend you need, a group of people wouldn't even bring up your name unless it's to talk about how wonderful you are because your friend would knock them upside the head. You feel me? They're gonna get shut down and then they're gonna get embarrassed. You're the friend that stays on the neutral line and play both sides. Know that you're gonna end up being the one that's left out in the cold. Both of those people are gonna get annoyed with it and they're not gonna be able to trust you. It's okay to be the mean friend. And what I mean by that is it's okay to tell your friend if they're messing up, really acting out and it's causing all the problems. Then look, you are really causing so much chaos. You are the common denominator of all the problems. What is going on with you? Even if they get mad at you, let them, let them get mad at you. They don't have to do what you say, but you've expressed your feelings about it. And what they choose to do with that information is completely up to them. And how you choose to react to it is completely up to you. When you're younger, it's always nice to have a big group of friends and liked by everybody. I know, I know the feeling is nice, right? When you get older, you learn that it's more about quality than quantity. I've had the same friends in my life for over 20 years. And these are people that I do not speak to every day, not even every month. But when I see them and speak to them, we pick up right where we left off. My best friend lives in Paris. I have not seen her in years. You wouldn't know it the way that we speak to each other. I tell you what, no one ever better speak negatively on her name. They already know it. And if someone's not doing the same for you, not everybody is going to be like you. You can't depend on what someone should do. Ultimately, it's gonna be up to you to say, is this friendship worth it to me to keep them around even though I know that they don't take up for my name? Talking with the people that hate me the most, it's not my cup of tea, I'm not about it. I guess I expect to be treated the way I treat others and that's with kindness and love and protection. Watch out for those chaotic friends too. I always have a crisis, the victim, always getting into some sort of issue. I need attention, love me, love me. Here, let me drop this and let it explode and then I'm gonna walk away and everybody else can deal with it. You gotta watch out for those. Mm -hmm. They're always having an issue with somebody and they expect others to do their dirty work for them. Go and say this, write this. They're treating me so bad. Those are the ones that are dangerous. Use people to get what they want and you end up getting hurt in the process. I know it sucks to be cynical. You have to guard your heart, but you really do until you get that core group that you know that have your back. You can trust in the same room group of your enemies because you know why? They would never be in the same room with your enemies. Thank you for attending my TED Talk.